Peter Shirelli, the meme of the NHL. He's put together some doozies in his career, and there was a lot of backlash when the Oilers signed him back in 2015. But the Oilers couldn't stop from looking at that Stanley Cup and thinking, hey, he can win us a cup too. He can learn from his mistakes. He can ride the ship, right? I mean, for certain, a man who traded away an elite first-line center in Tyler Sagan for Louis Erickson for sure would dread that move for the rest of his career and most definitely be sure never to make that mistake again. And then the unthinkable happened. He did it again. But this time, he traded away a man who won the heart with no one around him. Sound familiar, McDavid? And Taylor Hall. And there's nothing wrong with moving a surplus for some good defense but that good defense they traded for is a second liner in Adam Larson. We do need to give credit where credit is due though and Shirelli has done some very good things like give all non-oiler fans a good laugh once a year but seriously the trading for Cam Talbot for a second round draft pick Jonas Siegenthaler and in seventh round pick Adam Huska appeared to be a great acquisition for a couple years but the wheels have since fallen off a bit for Talbot as well. Something tells me Shirelli likes to enjoy his summers though and he drinks a lot and I mean a lot of adult beverages specifically in the month of June. At least I hope he does because you'd have to be drunk to trade away a first round draft pick that only turned into Matthew Barzell only. Taylor Hall and Jordan Eberle in exchange for Adam Larson, Ryan Strom, and Griffin Reinhardt, who we are all right now going to pretend we have ever heard of, by the way. Of those three players, only one is on the Oilers roster, one is a career AHL baller, and the last one was traded for Ryan Spooner, who may or may not have just been placed on waivers. And I've been sitting here trying to think, what's occurred more? The Oilers winning the draft lottery or Shirelli giving away that first round pick to another team? One thing's for sure, the number is definitely higher than the amount of goals Milan Lucic has scored this season. Lucic, of course, an old friend from Boston, was another move Peter made that left many scratching their heads, and rightfully so, as he's currently being paid over a million dollars for every goal he scored this season. Shirelli may be gone, but his legacy will live on at least for another four years as the Oilers will be stuck paying Lucic six mil a year until 2023. That one of many moves that have just slowly torn apart the Oilers. A team with the best player on the planet on it, by the way, the man who is the only reason Edmonton wasn't the worst team in the league again last season. All that being considered going into this season, Shirelli was definitely on the hot seat. But when you trade away Ryan Strom for a player thrown on waivers and then sign a 30-year goalie who does what a lot of goalies entering the league do, which is start out hot, and then fall off to a five million year contract who has done nothing in the NHL deemed worthy of that money. That hot seat all of a sudden catches on fire and it's either going to burn down the entire franchise or you're going to throw it out the door. I think we all know which one happened, but let's let today be the day we look back at our favorite hockey franchise and remember it could be worse. And for the Oilers, we wish you the best of luck in your future.